grew up, I was born and grew up in Tamora. Um, I have my mother and father, Barry and Deidre Flakler, that are still here in Tamora, and one brother um, named Peter. I was born and raised here in Tamora, uh, so it spans uh, my entire life. I moved away uh, a couple of years ago to attend university uh, and have since moved up to Brisbane for the last 12 months I've lived in Brisbane, um, but we regularly come come back and visit home. Childhood in Tamora was full of fond memories. Um, both of my parents are teachers, so we were fortunate enough to have school holidays with them a lot of the time. My passion for flying began when I started work out at the Aviation Museum, Tamora Aviation Museum, when I was about 15 years old. And so I, I had a vested interest in flying early on in, in my teenage years. And I was fortunate enough to get a, a GIFTS, a young, young person's fi flying scholarship with the Recreational Aviation Australia. Uh, and that allowed me to obtain my recreational pilot's license. Following Tamora High School, I didn't really know what I wanted to do uh, and settled on, like all girls do, uh, wanting to become a fighter pilot. Uh, so I went through the stages of applying for the Defence Force and I got through final stages and went up for some flight screening, which turned out to be a pretty valuable experience. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't selected uh, and so I shifted my focus to the early entry that I received from Charles Sturt University uh, in Nutrition and Dietetics. So I began my first year of my degree at CSU there and realised that I had quite a passion for chemistry. Finished with a degree or a Bachelor of Science majoring in Analytical Chem. Following that degree, I was approached by a CSU academic who invited me to do some research with him. And that research turned into an honours project, uh, which then helped me develop some research that I was really keen to conduct on Australian canola. Uh, and that turned into a PhD project. And so uh, I've just recently graduated with a doctorate in chemistry. I've been fortunate enough the last few years to have several opportunities to in particular the research role uh, to present throughout Australia and overseas. So uh, to stand in front of a big group of people uh, that are all either academics or industrial professionals uh, and speak about my own research and what's um, happening with research on agriculture in Australia is, is something that has been a really rewarding experience. I've found a real love for teaching, so I've been able to dip into uh, industry work, research work, and also teaching roles um, through Charles Sturt University and the University of Queensland. Through my early career, I've been faced with a number of um, different challenges with respect to women in science uh, and also earlier on my, my aviation history and, and going through the processes of, of the Defence Force. Uh, I think at the moment it's at a point where it's got a lot better than what it was. I think we are quite valued as members of, of those communities per se and I think that it's only ever going to get better. Oh, I love Tamora. It's my home um, and always will be. No matter where I am, um, I could come back in five years time and it will still feel like home.